Hey guys, what's going on? It's Savage Gaming here, and today I want to talk about my final thoughts for Black Ops 3 Beta, for the, for the Black Ops 3 Beta. Now, I'm just going to be going off and listing off a few things. Let me start off with the specialists. The specialists are great, and Reject should not have been nerfed. Whoever made that decision saying, yep, we got to nerf Reject, is... That's ridiculous. Come on. I mean, straight up, it's like dying. There's no point to it unless you want to continue on your gun streak. And it's so stupid that, oh, it was so overpowered. No, it wasn't. It's a cloud of green dust. I mean, like, what are you going to do? You just wait until you see a little flash, and then you hit the guy with your bullets. I I've never been killed by anybody with reject because, A, I'm an awareness player. I, I look at the players that I kill and make sure they're dead. And, you know, B... It, it's overpowered when they don't have it, you know what I mean? If they're the ones that kill people with reject and then they kill them again, that's 200 score for them. It's easy to kill people. And then, you know, a glitch is about to get a nerf and same thing with the bow and arrow to sparrow. I'm very sick and tired of these people complaining. It's all Xbox One. It's all Xbox One users, unfortunately. They're all like, uh, it's overpowered, wah, we want, we want the DLC first, wah, like, Jesus Christ, you guys are annoying. So, the next one that I, uh, that I really enjoyed was the weapons. The weapons were very powerful, and I like powerful weapons. I mean, you got the Razorback, you got the M887, you got the uh, AK, uh, what is it, AK7, uh, AK47 or something like that, I, I don't know what it was, I'm pretty sure it was AK47. Uh, you also got the, uh, crap, what is it? It was like the first, the, the CUDA, you got the CUDA, uh, you also have uh, blah, 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 the v v Vesper, the Vesper, you know, it's really hard to remember these weapons guys, they're really weird names, uh, and then you got the Man of War, which is really good, and then the single shot weapon with rapid fire, one of the best guns ever, so you know, the weapons are very powerful, they're very useful, and they all have special parts to them, they're really good and they're really fun, uh, the next one is the kill streaks. My God, I wish they didn't nerf Hellstorm. Uh, they nerfed it because, guess what? Because everybody was complaining about, oh, I'm getting killed by a Hellstorm missile. Wham! It's a kill streak. It's a kill streak. Of course, it's gonna kill you. Like I'm, oh whatever. Okay. The score streaks are powerful. The score streaks were fun. They were useful. I don't. I mean, I didn't see one person get the get the mothership, unfortunately. But I did get a lot of uh, wraps. Uh, GI unit was very good in my opinion. I always got like 15 kills with it with the wraps and the talent. The talent was powerful. The UAV was good. Uh, the hater was awesome. I've never gotten my hater shot down or taken. Uh, you know, the care packages usually gave me a wrath or, or a hater or something very big. So, you know, I really did enjoy it. And that's about it. You know, the maps were good too. The only one I didn't really enjoy was Stronghold. It was a little. It was a little too snipery for me and assault rifle heavy. I still like it, but it wasn't my favorite. So tell me what you guys in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys are awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.